strikes once more. The emotional moment for one of the most admired cricketers in the history of the game, Courtney Walsh. It's an absolute honour to speak to two legends, Courtney Walsh and Kurtley Ambrose, with a combination of 924 test wickets apiece. Do those figures make you feel slightly awkward? Quite frankly, it's not enough. We were robbed. Yeah, he fell short. No, no, both of us fell <laughs> short. Got <laughs> very good catch. 499 it is for Courtney Walsh. Courtney, 519 test wickets. On the verge of 500 in Trinidad, you called your mate to get on a plane to come and watch you take your 500. What happened? Yeah, I was very busy when he gave, when he, when he rang me up. And you know, he made his Jamaican thing, a big man. You must come to Trinidad, 500 wickets. I said, well, Courtney, I'm kind of busy. He said, no, 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 you got to come. So I went to Trinidad, spent a few days in Trinidad. Had to leave Trinidad, still on 499. <laughs> so I, did, I wasn't there for the 500, so I wasted my time, really. But it happened in Trinidad, though. He just didn't have the patience to wait. <laughs> That's good. There was a bit of a delay. You know when you get to those milestones sometimes, it just seems to take forever. It wasn't as bad as my 300, but it was a long way. Of course, you and uh, Curly Ambrose will always be remembered as a partnership. How have you gone without him? He's always been missed, but yesterday he showed his face in the place, and he was happy to see him, and he wished me well, and said he was sorry he's not going to be here to see today, but he was confident it was going to happen today. And um, I'm happy to prove him right. What about Curly? An absolute master, wasn't he? Definitely a master. Very tight in the bowling, as he was um, in some aspect of his life, but now he was one of them guys that just didn't want to go for many runs. Take pride in what he did, how he performed. And it was an absolute joy for me to be bowling at the other end because I could then experiment a little bit more because of you know the way he played the game. What made Courtney stand out from the other fast bowlers around the world? His durability. I mean, I kept asking him for years, how did he do it? Because I mean, apart from playing for West Indies, he'll play for Jamaica in the regional competitions. Then he goes over to England to play county cricket. He just kept going, kept going. I mean, I played six seasons of county cricket. And I thought that was maybe four or five seasons too many. And he just kept going for like 15 or 16 years. So I don't know how he did it. That's gone. Six out. Brian Rowell takes the catch at the first slip. And the Queen's mark over. West Indians are jumping around, both on and off the field. Courtney, what made Kirtley special? The first thing was the pride. You know, he didn't like losing, didn't want to underperform, didn't want to let his teammates down. So he was always someone you could depend on and was very reliable to give you 100%. He had a special skill set, special asset to the game where you know, he could just put the ball down wherever he wanted to, as consistently as he wanted to. Um, mean machine, you know, I used to call him at times because you know, you, you know he's going to bowl a couple of overs and the batters doesn't know where the runs are going to come from. And on days when it's not good for him, you know, I could pick it up and say, you're struggling a little bit. And he would be honest enough to say, yeah, the rhythm is off or it's just not coming up my hand right today. And then I would say, well, okay, you know, you just relax and I'll, I'll try and pick up the slacks. So that kind of communication was, was very helpful for us. But I think the pride that he brought to the table for me was the biggest standout. And this man, Ambrose, can do absolutely no wrong. As we sit here in Antigua, the wind is blowing. It's fairly common knowledge that, currently, you always had the wind, the choice of ends. Mm -hmm. you know, how frustrating was that for, for you? Yeah, he's going to bowl from the hand. I was fortunate enough, after the late great Marka Marshall left the scene, you know, I was thrust into that role of choosing ends. So what I usually do, I go out and get some, some grass, toss it in the air to see which direction the wind's blowing. And once it's going that way, of course, all the feelers know where they got to go. And then when he took over as captain, I thought, hmm, this could change. But he never did. Always gave me the option. So that just tells you how good we are as friends and teammates. For me, it was what the team requires, how best we can get the best out of the players. And because I was accustomed to into the wind. So why change something that you know what to do and then leave it to the less experience? Good, Liam Rose. Fast, hostile, accurate. A lot of people just sort of judge me on the field of play because of course, it's not a laughing matter. You know, I'm a very, very proud man. And anything I do, I want to be the best at it because I love to win. And sometimes in the process, guys get roughed up. That's gone. Well, it was the ball before that did the damage. 
not only to Jack Russell's hand, but in his mind. Off the field, I'm a totally different person. Very jovial, laid back, let have fun, and enjoy myself. But some people don't know that until they, they've been around me off the cricket field. Tucked away to long leg. Courtney Walsh, 15 yards to his left to make. Curtly Ambrose in the middle of the wicket there. And although the throw is two yards off target, that was the result. Curtly, your old mate from Northamptonshire, David Ripley, mentioned your slip fielding prowess. That's not something a lot of people would associate with you. I mean, I love feeling the slips. It's easy work as well. You ain't got to run up and down your nose field anyway. <laughs> but that was pretty good. That's pretty good hands. What about you, Walshy? No, 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 no. Don't no, even no, go no, there. No. Don't even My go there. My slip is an 100% record. Don't even go there. 100% record for like, Gloucester. Final like on third man. 100% record for West Indies. I might not have been there a lot, but I've never dropped a catch on the slip and I've taken for West Indies. I never dropped any for Gloucester. 100% record. What about batting? Who's the best batsman? I'm a good leave alone. So I leave that one alone. <laughs> Wonderful leave alone. My good friend here, Cody Walsh, when I made my debut, when I look at the lineup, I see Courtney Walsh at number nine, Kurt Liam was number 10, Patrick Patterson number 11. So I said to his captain, you gotta be joking. So that's the only time he batted ahead of me. They say I'm a rookie and I have to wait my turn. Seniority. So I got, I got 20 yards not out of the first innings, and after that, he was demoted, you know? <laughs> so th th that tells you who the better batsman, right? I say no more. Great mates, obviously. What was it like rooming together? We were playing against England in the home series in 1990. And the fourth test match in Barbados, England leading 1-0, of course. And it seemed like they wasn't so sure who to select for a fourth test match. Michael Marshall was going to play, Ian Bishop was going to play, and Ezra Mosley, who just got in the team, Barbados, so he was going to play. So there's one spot for Courtney and myself, which we found very strange. We're senior players. They gave us a new ball to say, well, whoever come out on top may probably play that four tests. And I said to him, you know, Cody, we're not going to compete against each other. We're going to do what we have to do for the team so we can win. If you get the nod, all the very best. He said the same thing to me. However, I got the nod. He was left out. But most people thought because the next game was in Antigua. They said, well, you can't leave what Ambo's going to Antigua. <laughs> but that's politics. But anyway, we started rooming late in the year in Pakistan. And that's when we really, our friendship started to bond much more. And we never looked back then. So we still, people just can't see to separate us. If we're good, well, Walsh and Ambo's. Because, you know, he's a senior, so he's Walsh and Ambo's. <laughs> so you got to get that right. Walsh and Ambo's. I've roomed with lots, lots of people, and not because he's here, but we never had any issues in the room. We had a, just a genuine understanding from the get-go. Our friendship got better with that, and we would order together, we'd check in what we're doing, make sure the bill is set. I, I, I do most of it. Um, but <laughs> what I, what I, the reason why you might have to do most, he still, he still owes me a drink. I might get one today. <laughs> and the West Indies bowlers, Ambrose and Walsh, just unbelievable. 